Now what's cool about this is you can actually extend our single, or excuse me, our double input ANDs to cases where there's three inputs. All three inputs need to be simultaneously true for X to be true also. So what a truth table would, like this would look like is this, where C varies in this fashion. B varies this way. And A looks like this. We've got all possible variations. OK, so what does the output look like? Let's do our Boolean expression. A and B and C is equal to x, where 0 times a 0 times a 0 is also equal to a 0. And you can go through all these occurrences. The one and only time that x is high is when all conditions are simultaneously high. OK? So we've extended our regular two input AND gate to a three input. Now we can do a four input, A, B, C, and D. All going into an AND. And X is our output. When is X high? The only time it's ever high is when it's A and B and C and D are simultaneously high. OK, let's talk about some application examples. The first one is an enable inhibit device. Inhibit. Um, if you could imagine that this signal coming in here is the digital expression of your voice right here. It's the digital expression of your voice going through our digital to analog converter and basically this signal looks like you talking in digital because it's gone through our digital to analog converter and this right here is a button a push to talk button on a walkie talkie okay so let's draw our timing diagram where this is you talking the digital expression of your voice. I'm just going to do some repetitive signals here. And now you actually use the push to talk button on the walkie talkie. You start talking at this time period here, but you actually press the push to talk button right here. What does the output signal look like? Right here. So we're going to Bring it back down to our timing diagram. It's going to look like this, where our signal gets through from this time period on, and this time period it's not, which makes sense. You've enabled the, ta uh, the talking when you actually use the push to talk button. So my recommendation to you is actually push the button first, then start talking. Okay, so it's a uh, pretty comical when you're up in a wind turbine and you always catch the last 10 seconds of a person's combination, uh, excuse me, conversation. And then you got to send them back. You push the button and you talk to them. Hey man, push the button before you start talking because I can't hear the first thing you say. Then you release it. Okay. So enable inhibit devices. What is coming through? Um, once this is the enable signal right here, a red, when that re the red enable is going on, it's a high. What comes through on the output? Well, it's the signal A right there. So when signal B is enabled, what is the output? The output is signal A. So from this time period here, signal A is totally ignored. Nothing's coming across. Enable, inhibit, inhibit. OK, second application for an AND gate is a safety chain certain conditions must simultaneously be true. Okay, so think about this. Where X is an all systems go um, signal that allows you to start a motor. So what happens is signal A here 
is a safety sensor on the motor. Um, let's pretend uh, it's a safety sensor that the door is closed. You know, basically, it's, pretend it's a motor with a big blade on it. The door is closed. It set, sends a signal. Hi, the door is closed. Signal B is um, some temperature indicator. Okay, temperature is correct. It's high. And signal C is, um, I don't know, you got enough fuel in it or something where it's sending a high. And what happens here? Basically, our starter is enabled, giving us a high signal up here. So it says, go, you can go ahead and do it. But now, all of a sudden, somebody um, opens the door. What happens is basically signal A suddenly drops to a low. It goes down low. So what happens here? Zero and one and one is zero so our little current to our motor stops it goes down low so basically all conditions must simultaneously be true the door must be closed i can't remember what b was oh temperature must be at a right uh right uh, must be at the right temperature and c it must have enough fuel so all three conditions must simultaneously be true for the motor to get uh, current or fuel in this case. Okay, so this ends our discussion of AND gates. We're going to move on with a little bit more discussion of our one of the other basic logic functions, the OR gate.